Welcome back to the channel. We're still in Transylvania up at McKaylee's cabin and uh, I got a bit of a hunt planned here today first off there's always these mouflon that like to come down and drink by this little river here right by the cabin and I can never get them because uh, they duck down uh, over this ledge here and by the time I get to the ledge I'm never patient enough to go slow enough uh, I spook them uh, so I'm probably going to spook them here in a second no big deal because uh, the plan today is to take the UTV up into the mountains uh, to see if it's a good uh, sort of way to make money uh, selling chamois meat uh, to the butcher. Uh, so driving the UTV around, kind of spotting them. I'm going to bring the monoblock up um, for like the longer shots, most accurate rifle in the game. And it may be against my ranger training, but I might be, you know, I might just use the hunter sense uh, to make sure the, sh or the shots are placed well. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but first, see if I can get always move on it. They're going to spook real soon. Wind's blowing at them. And um, I can never make it to this ledge before they spook. And if you spawn in or fast travel over to McKaylee's cabin at drink time, a lot of the times this uh, mouflon herd will be right here. Um, I haven't heard them spook yet, which is really surprising. There is a one star. Now, oh, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> Buggers. <laughs> I can never get these guys. Say, so uh. Now, is that what they do? They, they come down um, right here. Are they running in circles down there? <laughs> what are they doing? I can never get them anyways. I gotta set I gotta set like an ambush for them. I've seen them run away down this road so many times. There's one star mature in there I gotta get, but uh, no biggie. They come yeah, they come down from these trees and they're always walking this direction to the water. And I, I lose them over this, this little slope. And then, yeah, I guess they turn and start going that way. Uh, no biggie. So I'm going to grab the UTV. And we'll head up into the mountains. It's always good to start a hunt with a confidence builder. With a with a big with a big failure. I was expecting that one, though. Because they're only like 50 meters. Or 50, 60 meters away. And uh, even if you're doing uh, the uh, true predator crawl, it's hard not to spook them at that close. You just can't. You just can't get in there and move on. You can't call or anything. So, so what you need is patience. And I wasn't hunting them, so I wasn't planning on. So I, I didn't reserve any patience for those bouffon. What well, one day I'll, I'll get them since they bother me so much all the time when I when I travel in here. And uh, people say they learn a lot from my videos, which I don't really quite understand how. Besides the fact that uh, maybe they uh, maybe they learn what not to do, and that's uh, <laughs> that's part of the learning, I guess. Now watch what Bumble does, and when he messes up, don't do that. I guess there's learning in there. Number one lesson is, I suppose, have more patience than me, because this game requires a lot of it. Can I get through there? Good. Oh, and I have two places marked already here, because... I told myself I will check out these jackal zones when I pass them, just because I can't seem to find any. And I know driving through is not a great idea, but... I'm I, again, kind of, if I'm not hunting them specifically, I'm just kind of trying to see if they spook or um, if they exist on my map at all. I know they do. I don't think anything's bugged out or anything. Um, some people were saying that uh, those jackals, they don't make the little, uh, or sometimes they don't make the little audio bubble when they spook. Uh, so I don't know. Oh well, this is one of the rest zones. Just wanted to see if I could stir any up since I never see them at all. I mean, I don't think I ever seen a jackal on live before. The, the last one I seen was on the dev branch version. Okay, there. There we go. That was a jackal. Yay! A female, but doesn't matter. I never see them, and the wind's blowing right at them. It's supposed to be a chamois hunt. But, I mean, I, I've been trying so hard just to find jackals. And there's one that kind of laughed at me. Uh, so let's, let's test this out since i got very little experience hunting them. I've always been treating them like foxes. And foxes usually let you get pretty close. Um, but the wind's going right at them, so I'm not actually too sure. Uh, but, I, but as a default, I'm going to kind of treat them like foxes here. Uh, so I don't know what group sizes they're in or anything. I have neglected 
the golden jackal hunting. And they were down here somewhere. Okay, so where did the jackal go? I've already ha I already have a victory because I now know they actually exist. So that's good. I'm pretty sure she was right down in here. Um, maybe she did spook, and it's doing that thing with the the no spook bubbles. Uh, hmm. Well, I came outside of the woods there, so I definitely went through where she called from. So maybe that is a thing. So do they not make uh, those little spook bubbles snapping twigs when they run? Because uh, that would make sense. Um, since I'm never seeing them, I'm probably just spooking them. Because I'm under the assumption I'll see them get stirred up with the little spook bubbles. But uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm just having trouble with the guys, so uh, I'll keep working on it. Figured maybe I'd come out here and see something. Uh, maybe I'll walk back through the woods here, stomp around, make some noise. Maybe she'll yell at me again. I got, I got a bunny rabbit right here. Oh, three-star mature. Everybody has trouble finding these guys. <laughs> and there's one right there. Well, I can't really shoot them because I'm here to make money and all I got is the 308 on me. So they get to frolic and play peacefully. Oh, hey! There they are. They didn't spook very easy. Just kind of walked out to them. They exist, though. Yay! Two-star adult. Oh, that's a good one, too. Um, are there no old ones? You guys are all young. No one here, eh? Okay. Alright, well, I'll just take one of these females in, I guess. Um, since I don't have any yet. What are you guys doing? What do you think? There she goes. Now, do they make the little spook noise? They don't. That's why I'm not finding you. I've been relying on the spook bubbles. How come no one told me that? Well, actually, this video is going to go up after my actual jackal hunt. So maybe someone has told me that. I just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> okay, good. So I went on Discord for a second just to try and confirm this. Uh, yeah, so I guess they don't leave the spook bubbles. And um, I wonder if that's intended or not. Uh, but now I'll be able to find them, see? Uh, they, could, they do the alert. And then I go, I treat it like a fox, I go investigate the alert, but with a fox, um, it, uh, it'll do the, look, the spook sounds and the, and the spook bubbles, so I know the fox isn't there. These guys don't do that, so I keep thinking that they're still there, so I can, I can never find the guys. And uh, that one hunting video I did with the, the jackal hunt, I was, of course, driving in, trying to see spook bubbles, and running around trying to see them, but anyways... Yeah, sneaky buggers. But now that I know, that's good. Uh, so we just got a female. So how much... Um, this is definitely overkill for a jackal. Uh, how much do I get? Oh, I got $4. So it's pointless holding them with, the, with this. Because I'm trying to get some money. Um, what is it like? Yeah, most of me. Okay, so... Aren't they a tier... Yeah, I guess they're a tier 3 or 4? Um, what are they? I think, they're, I think they got bumped to tier 4, didn't they? The tiers are kind of weird. Yeah, they're bigger. Yeah, they're here at tier 4. I mean, model box tier 5. I guess it wrecks it too much. What I don't get is a gray wolf being tier 5. Only going up to 42 kilograms max. And a road deer is 40 kilograms. What do these guys go up to? Oh, they're small. That makes... These guys should be like a tier 3. Yeah, they're like only one kilogram bigger. Their tier system's kind of funny. Okay, gotta stay focused. Going into the mountains now. Uh, it is rest time uh, for the chamois. So I marked two rest zones up there. Uh, let's see if this works. The theory is you drive around and you can see so far that you can just kind of spot them. And then, uh, you know, make some money. Okay, so I'm approaching zone number one. 
Uh, I think I'm okay with spooking them, too, because you can just kind of watch where they go. Let's see here. Surprise, Shamwa! Oh. <clears throat> nope, they're not here. <laughs> All they see is this big, crazy UTV coming flying over the hill. Uh, any spooking going on here? Let's take a look. Uh, nope. Okay, so they were not here. Um, maybe I'll glass around for a minute. Hmm, I didn't think this strategy through very well. Here's the rest zone, and that's the other one down there, but their drink zone's over here. Uh, so this is where they'd be coming from. So maybe I'll just do a little peek over this hill. So the chamois have proven to be quite reliable for their zones in the past. Imagine because there's not much to get stuck on up here, right? So they can easily go back and forth. Oh, there's some there down there. Um, that's not the one ones I was looking for, though. Where's the water? Oh, no, it's straight down here. Which group's that? I don't know. Uh, we'll go get that one, though. I'll probably get the UTV and bring it this way, actually. Just so it's close by. But there should be a, a herd. That's coming up from this water. Oh. Oh, it's a pheasant. What's a pheasant doing up here? Wait. There are no pheasants up here. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever. Whatever, game. Um, okay, so they're down here heading up there. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, what should we do? I guess I can wait here for them to, to come up, because that should be the herd that's heading, heading towards that way. That pheasant's going to drive me nuts. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll hang out here and see if they crest this hill. And then those guys will be target number two. Okay, here are some chamois. I don't know what's going on with them, but they went really wide. And uh, I wonder if there's any good ones to take here, because it's going to be a long shot. Well, not that long, but I'm not going to get any closer. They're kind of scattered all around here, running in the trees. I guess I could just take the two-star mature up there. I mean, I am looking for some money. Ooh, two-star adults, okay. And to wait on. Oh, three-star mature. Let's see. I could just do mature female. Let the other ones keep growing. We got 250 or so. She's right in the front. And we'll do that. I lay down, take a shot. Uh, which one was her? I think this one's her here. So, 200 or so. I don't know if I should use Hunter Sins or not. I guess it's not really needed. It's just pulling a little low and to the left, so I should be able to do the shot. Just fine. Um, a little bit of a quarter, but that's okay. Yep, yeah, good. Little old monoblock. There we go. Alright, well, let them run now. Did I spook any more? Because they were acting weird, but... Yeah, they just went really wide. I thought they would go more straight towards them, but they're... I don't know what they're doing. They're going wide. So I'm going to get the UTV. The other group... Um, still sitting down by the water, so I don't know what they're doing. Right after I just said chamois are pretty reliable, and the other groups was sitting down by the water still, so... And it's getting on, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon almost. I'm going to see this pheasant sitting right here, because I don't understand why there's a pheasant up here. That's a whole group. Um... There's no pheasants up here, right? This is, uh, quite the... <laughs> Quite the drive up here, uh, ripping around in the mountains. It just it just kind of does all sorts of crazy things. All these little rocks. 
All right, uh, there we are. There we go. And let's pick her up. Take a look, see here. Yeah, the shot was just fine. Um, a little right than I thought. Double lung monoblock. How much money do we get for the man? 300 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's not the mature female. <laughs> it was the three star. Uh, oh, well, 80%. I'm not even sure 80% gets the four stars or not. No, not a big deal. 300 bucks. Whoopsie daisy. Um, he must have did the old swaparoo there when I wasn't looking. All right, should be approaching the spot. Oop, up here as I'm out. Let's see. Are they still there drinking? Oh, oh, they're there. Oh, they might have finally decided to move. I think I'm too far away to get any kind of uh, spotting info on them, though. Looks that way. I guess I could just pick one. Let's see if we can do a 400 meter shot if one decides to turn. Uh, actually, let's take the uh, UTV and maybe do a little bit of test here, see how close we can get uh, with the vehicle. Since they're not really giving me much of a shot, might as well have some. Uh, do some science here on this. Maybe I should drive over there. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna drive over to that other hill. I guess mountain. And then that'll give me a... Uh oh. Get, get unstuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll give me maybe a better angle here. Let's do that. Uh, whoops, must have spooked him with my wild driving. Because... Uh, I thought they were over here, Mar. But that's where my marker was, so I guess that would have been too close. Uh, so I parked, but uh, I didn't see any little chamois specks running off in the distance. Uh, but that was pretty close for the the uh, UTV to uh, travel. However, I have definitely pulled within 200 meters of uh, animals with it. Who knows? Um, I figure with all this, uh, sight range, I'd still be able to see where they went, but maybe they went over this ledge or something. No, oh, well, should be able to find more. No, no, they still are down there. My marker must be in the wrong spot. Uh, so that doesn't help. <laughs> I thought this was going to give me a good angle on them. But they have, uh, whoop. We have more cover here. Uh, let's see. Let's mark that one. Let's remove this one. Uh, now what am I going to do? I guess I can drive over this way. But then the wind's going to be blowing at them. Uh, hmm. Well. I guess it doesn't hurt to go across here. Unless the UTV like falls over, I guess. Okay, these chamois are playing a prank on me. <laughs> there was a stick snap that went in there, and it wasn't a spook one. And that's the new marker. Where? Okay, the UTV was too far away to spook them. Well, my little plan to hunt a bunch of chamois with the UTV it's not anywhere near as fast as I was hoping it was going to be. Oh, they're right here. Oh, okay. Why didn't I see that? Um, no, just blind me, I guess. So can I get spotting info now? No, not really. Okay. Let me get a little closer here. I want to get spotting info. Okay, nothing great in here. Just a couple adults. One's two stars. So it's going to be another... Female shot attempt here. 220 meters. Let's see here. Wind's going almost right at them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, pretty much right on. 200 meters. We'll turn off the hunter sense. Mark her up. 
And down she goes. Monoblock certainly works for these guys. Maybe we can watch where they go. Get another one, maybe. All right, but the challenge is actually going to get be getting back up here to the UTV. I don't know if River can climb this. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, good. All right, let's go pick her up. Uh, they went over in that little uh, valley down there, so I'll probably drive back up on that one again. This should be an interesting drive down. Ooh, all right. I'm guessing, like, uh... <laughs> the uh, damage on the UTV is getting a little high. I mean, hitting all these like little rocks probably that like, counts towards damage. All right, here she is. All right, pick her up. And it is a female this time. I'm moving. Okay, nice double lung. Yeah, no, no wonder. Monoblox a good choice for this. It's always a, a good balanced rifle in the game. Yeah, so two two hundred dollars for every mature female. I guess it's not great payout, but uh, well, still good uh, shooting practice, anyways. Uh, so they should be in here somewhere. Maybe take one more and move on to the next. Uh, they're probably down there in that cover, eh? Okay. I'll go up here get some get some height. Yep, there they are. So this is working. This is what I was hoping to do. <laughs> this would do. You can just kind of drive after them, spot them, take a. Wait, was he? Is the same herd? Ooh, I'm gonna have to watch that four star mature. So we got two star adult and four star mature. I'm just gonna record that. Okay, so they're smelling me, that's why they're looking this way. So they're getting they're getting pushed by the scent. Uh, this is the female here. I might have to wait for her to keep moving because of these sticks here. Just want to check and see. Um, oh yeah, they are blocking it. That's basically a wall, those sticks. Give her a moment here. Uh, there isn't a call in here, so it's just it's just for money. Grab another mature female here. Okay, so I can take either one of these, that one or this one. Just watch them for a minute here. They're about uh, 200 out, are they? Almost. So this should be uh, should be a neck or spine shot, really. Uh, I can go in from... This is a shot I don't take very often. Well, this one's quartering away, so I could take that shot. If they decide to stop. Yeah, she's going to stop and think about it. And down she goes. That uh, monoblock sure is trustworthy with these guys. I see they're just going to stop again. <laughs> Uh, yep, so this will work out if you just want to practice some shots. Come up here and a little UTV and uh, can watch all the little specks run off in the distance. And when they stop, take another one. Look at them going there. Whereabouts are they stopping? Looks like in here. Oh, that one's still going. All right. There, mark that. 400 meters away. I guess we'll go down and get her, maybe. If I take one more from these guys, right now, it'd be quicker to drive along here, take another one, and pick them both up. Oh, another herd right here. Well, gonna, whoa, gonna have to, uh, didn't even know these guys are here at all. What am I doing? Just sliding sideways down there. Well, we can watch. <laughs> I can't even do anything with the TV. Okay, we can watch these guys go. Are they going to run into that other group and spook them? Alright, let me get up here. Oh my, that's not working at all. Oh, I ran you over. 
Come on there, UDV. I need to... I'm going to race them or something. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yep. Yeah. So, UTV probably spooked those guys. So, there goes that group. And looks like the new one's following them. And getting stuck here. All right. Well, let's just see where they go then. A whole bunch of them. So that's the old the old group running back from whence they came. And here's the new one. And these guys are falling behind. I'm interested in this new group here. Let's see what's in it here. Where are you gonna stop? So they they went right back. <laughs> Uh, two were uh, the ones dead, and these guys are kind of trotting in. Uh, looks like I'm going to have two herds kind of mixed match together here. I wonder where they're going to stop. I bet you, I bet you they're right. Yeah, I bet you this is the second group here. First group went right back to where she was. That makes sense, right? They'll spook the same distance, so they ran. Right back where she was. I think that's the second group there. Well, that was a little wild driving down there. Now, let's see if there's a better way to do this. We'll go over this way. Whoa! Alright. The Stuntman River. So this should be... Close enough here, I would think. Can I spot them? Yes, okay. I was gonna do a little scan here. Bingo! There's a five star right there. That'll be my target, probably to end the hunt here. No way to tell if he's like a really big five star or what he is. Mark him up. Actually, I don't want the mark right on him, it kind of buggers up the shot. Okay. Let's see here. Crouch. Oh, wait, that is him, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check here. <laughs> That's kind of important. Yes. All right. Here we go. Hopefully he's a good one here. Winds to the left. Hunter sense good. 200 meters. A slight a drop. Let me lay down for the shot. Oh. Yee, don't go in there. Man, yeah, we had to rush it. We really didn't want to lose him. That was a five star, right? <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, well, watch where they go in case I did mix up which one was which. Um, let's just watch here. Okay, I'm sure I got the right one. Let's go take a look. Let's so run down here, or drive down here, do some stunts on the way down. Shouldn't take too long to get there. Whoop, thread the needle. Alright, where is this guy? Oh, there he is, alright. Let's take a look at him. <laughs> I hope he's the right one. Uh, let's see. I mean, do they have much variety in the horns? I mean, I guess they look big, but they kind of look like all the... The other ones. Let's take a look here. What do we got? We got a right lung, a single shot on it. Good. 234 meters. Monoblock certainly destroyed that lung. And we got a 96 percenter, five star trophy. Alright, so he's not going to be right up there, but let's take a look. 492. Hey, he's going to be a taxi near me. Alright, let's make sure to get him. Okay, so he was taxidermied. Let's just grab this one for some money. Because if I'm going to stuff him, it's, he's going to take all the money I just made. Uh, so this is should be the female. So that's another double lung. And yep, mature female, a 262. Good, sell her off. Alright, I think that'll be it for the hunt. I've got this uh, massive trophy lodge like everybody else has got, and all the guys is these three guys, so <laughs> that's been most of my hunting's always on uh, the Idaho map. 
Uh, but at least I can easily keep track of them. So the 498 bore, and now my 492 as chamois, and then uh, <laughs> such a sad trophy lodge. Um, uh, this is a really sad goose, too. He's five star, but he's only like 453 or something. It, but he's like 97%, so he could have got really big. Uh, but yeah, this is, <laughs> is going to take a long time uh, to do this. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's about it for the episode, I believe. So that's an idea for you. Um, it worked okay. I mean, once I got going, once you, once you find a group or so, you could just... Uh, pick one off, watch where it goes, drive after it, shoot another one. You know, they're not worth like a ton of money, but uh, it's kind of fun. It gives a bit of target practice, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching. Take care.